Hello guys, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at another video, another one video of Mastercam Multi Access Series. And this time we are showing you the Mastercam, one of the most unique toolpath that is called as a Blade Expert. We are already created the tool tool, different videos on a Blade Expert. For in the first video, we show you how to create a sim the simulation portion of my Blade Expert, the process of Blade Expert where you can get idea about that how what is the process what the things we have to on a first second third fourth and in the last one video i would like to i show you what is the blade in a blade expert tool path what are the part what is the blade what are the different name of a blade or impeller and i also show you how to create a roughing tool path for the blade expert in this video i would like to show you the finishing tool path for the blade expert or for creating a finishing tool path if you have, you have a two options, you can copy and paste this toolpath or you can create a tool, new toolpath from the starting. If you want to create a new toolpath from the starting, you have to came on a toolpath and just click on a blade expert. Once we click on a blade expert, the first thing we have to define a tool, second thing is a holder and the third stock material should be auto detected. Before the roughing is already finishing in the last toolpath, now in this video, we will show you that the how to create the finishing tool path for the blade. When we have to came on a finishing tool path for the blade, there are the multiple type of strategies are available. These strategies are also available in a roughing. So in this video, we will show you the what is offset from hub, what is offset from shared, what is uh, the morph between shared and the hub, and what is how we can create the tool path for the swarf. So let me understand about all these things. Now in the first thing, uh, for the first portion, I just want to create the toolpath for the morph between said and the hub. It means toolpath have to be created starting from the here, start to create from here and it will create on the complete blade portion or complete at the complete area. In the edge here, contour, what is the meaning of the contour? If we have a blade, in how much portion of my blade toolpath have to be created in a full blade, uh, in a full blade or these are the multiple options available right at here we will so i would say i will show you for the each of these portions right at here there are the multiple options for the method you can choose the one way uh, one way for the leading edge one way for the triangling edge uh, spiral tool path for the leading edge spiral tool path for the triangling edge i would like to select the leading edge what is the leading edge please go and watch the last video of blade expert so you will get understand an idea about what is the leading is and all these things if you are not watching the first and second video you will get a zero understanding with this one video in the next step at here we have to defining the desktop cut for the each pass for here for defining the desktop cut i just defined the 0.5 mm as a desktop cut in the next portion we have to define the part defining in a part define first the th thing that we have to define the blade of my part so I de just define this is my blade if you want to define uh, leave some stock on this one you can define the stock next thing is hub what is hub this is called the hub if you want some stock right at hub you can write define right at here if you don't want some any stock just say zero the next is said what is the said it means this is called this here just click this is blade this is hub and in a shared if i choose a blade previously this i have to choose this one if i am not choosing this so make sure all you have to choose the same so i just choose the blade this is my blade hub this is my hub and in a shared this is my shared so i define the all the parts all the areas of the blade in a next step in a segment i just say segment should be one when we starting to create a tool path make sure first you have to create a tool path for the one segment once one segment is going to be perfect you can define the total number of segments and remaining all the things now just say okay and watch how it the things are working and how it will look be looking like once we define the, all the parameters now the toolpath is created as you can see here my toolpath is done right at here but if you just go and watch this toolpath from where it is going to be started from right at here and it's cut the tool uh, part it cut the material 
from this one also area but in a technical point of view we don't want to cut that one portion because we don't want to cut again I have to for this one again I have to came in a parameter we have to click on a cut pattern and this can thing we can control from the control this is very important point when we are created a tool path for the blade expert for the blade finishing at here full means a complete blade will be have to going to be finished full triangular full trim triangular edge it means this edge will not be created with this consideration when I choose this one so what is happening my tool path is created but at each time tool is going to be retract how I can control that I have to go in parameters go to the linking the linking parameter are generally we are defined automatically but we have to choose right at an automatic turn off the automatic and we have to say direct blend it means toolpath will going to be blend in a perfect and a proper position and now look at the beauty of this toolpath again so it's starting to enter on a perfect position it's rotating with the perfect angles and it will not going to be touched right at here it going to became exit at properly look at this and again it have to be came create in a blade expert now let we have to understand some new more parameters of the blade expert let we have to come in a cut pattern in a full segment there are some options are also available trim triangular leading edge it means toolpath will be not created on this one edge as well as this one edge and now just say okay once we do this the, or defining this one so what is happening my toolpath is automatically created now once again and it is not created toolpath at the, that one portion also I have to came in a parameter again I have to came in a linking parameter link between cuts go to the blade as define detect blend and just say ok so now as you can see here what is happening my toolpath will be not created right at here but for this one part we want to create the tool path for this one also so just say automatically in a cut pattern there are some other remaining also options if you want to create tool path for the left portion of my blade only if you want to create tool path for the right portion of blade only and if you selecting the two blades here you want to create the tool path for one single with this one face and this one face so you can choose according to that also but for now we have to choose the full trim triangular edge and just say ok so now as you can see here the toolpath is created for the one blade and now we can create the toolpath or we can multiply this toolpath on the remaining portions also for this one we have to came in a, uh, came in a part defined and how many segments are available we are choosing the last time and calculating the total number of segments are available 10 right at here and now just when we just say ok so now what is happening my blade expert toolpath is created for, to, for the finishing of my all blade portions now if I would like to show you the simulation of my part look at the simulation and the beauty of this toolpath it is starting to cut right from here once it complete the first blade complete blade with the spiral portion and the finishing should be perfect on an ultimate way once one portion finishing should be done the part will be lifting from here and go to the next blade so this is the beauty of my blade expert tool part so guys i hope you get and understand about that how we can finishing the blade of a blade expert tool part so in this video we learn about that how we can create a blade finishing for the blade expert tool part in an in the next video we will learn about that how we can create the hub finishing as well as the fillet finishing so for the till the that time be connected and updated for the more videos if you are new on this channel please go and watch our complete multi access series and if you want to access for our model files go and join our master cam multi access button on our youtube channel and you can get access for the all model files so keep learning keep growing